Hi, Larry Stewart here. I'm at, in Anaheim at the rental show with Diego Butsky, who's the product manager for JCB in North America. Diego, the 1CXT got all of our attention, a tracked backhoe loader and kind of a small uh, wheel loader size. Uh, what's the news on this? We're, we're going to see this machine in North America fairly soon? Yes. So actually, we are previewing the machine at the show here in ARA, mm -hmm. uh, but we are actually uh, are going to see this machine landing in the States towards the end of the year. Okay. So this is a machine that has been long waited by several customers here in North America, mm -hmm. and we really look forward to launching this machine to the market. Well, it's it's kind of an interesting little Franken loader. It, it, it's a it's a backhoe loader on on tracks. Talk a little bit about the concept here. What, why a machine like this? Why is your customer interested in this? Machine? So uh, a lot of people think it's a skid steer or a compact track loader that has a backhoe end. Mm -hmm. and, and the truth is, it is a true backhoe loader. The engine sits up front on the machine, so there's no that engine sitting on the back for the counterweight. Okay. Uh, the only thing that they won't see extract benefit from the compact track loaders are the tracks, basically driving uh, and all the driving ability of a compact track loader, mm -hmm. that's what 1CXT has. Now, customers that are looking for this machine, they, uh, they do envision having two machines in one. Mm -hmm. So it does have a loader, it does have a backhoe on the same machine. So many, many customers, they, they are tired of you know, towing two machines or having, having to have a CDL to tow two machines. Uh, and on this machine, because it's under 10,000 pounds, you can actually tow that machine anywhere oh. using one truck, one trailer. That's it. Uh, the rated operating capacity on this machine mm -hmm. is 1466 pounds, uh, but the hydraulics actually take any load up to 2200 pounds. Okay. Uh, obviously, because it's got tracks and because of the 35% SAE rating, yeah. we have to rate it at 1466 pounds. We do fit on this machine our parallel lift loader arms just like we do on our full size backhoes. Okay. So it does go uh, leveling the load from uh, bottom up and top down. So the backhoe end is straightforward. It is a backhoe, uh, it does have an extender hole or extending dipper. Uh, it will dig down as as far as 10 feet, one inch, mm -hmm. uh, and it will reach just under 15, uh, 13 uh, feet from this loop point. Okay. Uh, the back end is also a side shift mechanism, so it can actually travel from one side to another. And we're going to see the side shift here in North America. Exactly. So okay. uh, we already have that in our 3CX compact backhoe loader. Yeah. Uh, we offer some of our full size machines with that back end as well, mm -hmm. and that's special for those customers that have uh, space limitations. So mm -hmm. if you work in confined areas and you don't have space to have your outriggers onto the side of the machine yeah. these outriggers they go straight vertically down mm -hmm. and um, uh, they can fit anywhere yeah. uh, the back end travels from one side to another allowing you to actually park next to, a, next to a fence or next to a wall and do any digging and the other thing that this machine al allows you to do is because it's side shift you can actually stop the machine position the machine to start digging and then you can actually dig a square hole sure. without even moving the machine. Right, okay? right. The other nice, nice thing about the 1CXT is the tracks will allow the machine to dig, do general digging without even deploying the stabilizers because mm, yeah. it's so stable because of the large footprint of the tracks. What other advantages do the tracks bring to this machine? So the tracks are great because they do not uh, have any, they have a really low ground pressure mm -hmm. uh, uh, and that will give you less ground damage. Right. So besides having more traction, besides having more pushing power, you have less ground disturbance. So that's great for landscaping, for example, where you are always working on grass and you don't want to disturb, it, uh, disturb the ground. The, the ability to go on gradients up to 31%. So it will go in steep slopes up, down, on the side, and this machine has a really low center of gravity and it will keep the machine stable at all times. This machine is fitted with joystick controls, uh, so you use the same joystick controls to operate the loader end and operate the excavator end, so you just spin your seat and you're live uh, uh, you know, facing that uh, mm -hmm. end that you are. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that the joystick controls will give you actually is the ability to reverse drive. So if you're facing the backhoe and you're doing some trenching, trenching work mm -hmm. and you have to reposition the machine, you can actually just hold a button and drive the machine just like you're facing oh. the front end. Mm -hmm.